Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show, Turning Music Into Money. I am your host, Double O. Today is the part two of She Is A Boss, or She Is The Boss. Whatever you want to say, she's it. So, let me explain uh, what's happening here. Uh, we've been talking to Miss JJ of uh, FoxTrapRadio.com, and she's been giving us all kind of goods, but before we get all the way into the show, I just have a few little updates to kind of let you know what's been going on. Um, first, we'd like to give a huge shout out to Miss Ruby of LegacyA100.com. If you're looking for any of my previous shows, definitely check me out on LegacyA100.com. All my shows can be found there. Miss Ruby blessed me with the platform. I am so tremendously thankful. Also, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my good friend, Nicole Turner. She actually helps you with contract negotiations. She helps you with trademarking, copyrights, anything that you guys need help with uh, legally, paperwork-wise. Definitely contact Miss Nicole Turner. Nicole is spelled N-E-C-O-L-E. -E. Book Nicole at InnovativeButterfly.com. Definitely check her out. She's incredible. My good friend, let her know Double O sent you. And you might get some help. So, <laughs> also check out my good friend, uh, Ms. Maureen Guess of uh, her new new radio station is uh, X360 FM. Uh, definitely find her on Instagram. Reach out to her. Get her your music. Let her know that Double O sent you and maybe she might help you as well. <laughs> so, also, uh, if you're looking to get on Pandora, holler at me. Turn the music into money at gmail.com. I can be definitely, I can definitely be reached there. Um, so reach out to me and we'll, we'll try to get your music on the Pandora. I've been successful with about six or seven different people. And, um, I've been successful with my 30th song being put on there last week. So I'm very happy about that. Wow. Yay. 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 Also, uh, if you're looking for my music, check me out on Double O on the Pandora, D-O-U-B-L-E-O. -E mm -hmm. That was when I was a rookie artist. Now I'm a professional artist. A professional. It is professional now. D-U-B-B-U-L-L-O-H. <laughs> check me out. Over 30, well, 30 songs on there now. So definitely check out. Let me know what you think. Enough about me. Let's get back to the boss, Miss JJ. Welcome back to the show. Thank Turn the music you. into Thank money. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's dive right back into it. Julie Gorda asked a question, and she says, what adversities have you faced as a woman in the trying to navigate through the business? A whole lot. I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, I mean, it's a woman. It's a, it's a man's world. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't say so much as with the men. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's mostly just dealing with people who you think supposed to be there, you think believe in you, or you think that it's good, you're surrounding yourself with good people, mm -hmm. and they're, um, they end up not to be those good people. But as far as the men and so on and so forth, okay, sometimes it's a little intimidation on their end and some intimidation usually on my end, mm -hmm. you know, and that's like when you're, when you're starting it all off and so on and so forth. But as you grow up, you kind of understand how to maneuver through it and it, it really hasn't been that difficult it's more of the people that you know you think that you're surrounding yourself with have has, has been more difficult than anything mm -hmm. for any young women or women in general that's looking to do what you have done what advice do you have for them do it do it absolutely you know what i'm that chick mm -hmm. okay really i'm serious i'm that chick that's going to root you on Mm -hmm. Seriously, anyone that knows Miss JJ know that I'm going to be so extremely proud of what you're doing. I'm not that chick that's going to look at you and go, oh, she, she, she doing that or she trying to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm that one that said I'm on the top shelf and rising and there's a whole lot of room up there on the top shelf. It's too crowded at the bottom. You don't want to step on the one's foot or their head. But no, I, I, I'm, for, I'm for women doing their thing. If you if you just put your mind to it, I'm for that. I'm, I'm with you. Go go mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. No matter what somebody else says, no matter even what you say to yourself, mm -hmm. you gotta really you gotta really talk to yourself even on that aspect. Because when you start thinking big, you start trying to talk yourself out of it because you don't see things around you that looks big. But I I'm that girl that'll say go for it. I mean sometimes, and I'm gonna be real with you. Sometimes I can't hardly breathe, and um, but. I won't stop. I don't have an option for that one. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Why the name Fox Trap Radio? I get this question all the time. <laughs> all the time. Why is it Fox Trap Radio? Uh huh. It's so simple. Uh huh. Oh my God, it's so simple. Mm -hmm. My biological name 
is Fox. Okay. Okay, that's my daddy name. That's my name. Mm -hmm. It's Fox. And they call Atlanta the trap. So I just mm -hmm. put them together. And that's how we got Fox Trap. I like that. Mm -hmm. So how long has Fox Trap Radio been in existence? Oh, my God. Oh, like almost two years. Really? Yes, because we had a previous radio station. I really wasn't serious about that radio station. I'm being honest. Um, we had a previous one, and it was um, MJ, MG Radio. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of laid a little low on that, you know what I mean? And then now it's fine. Explain, explain you wasn't serious because I, it's levels of seriousness. Mm -hmm. So you were serious, but... Not You're not as serious, here, but what yeah. I'm saying, like, I want to kind of break down the level of seriousness. Okay. So, you okay. invested money. I invested money. I invested time. But I didn't invest the energy to push it to the next level. It was almost like my appetizer. I was just tasting it mm -hmm. to see how it, how it would go. Mm -hmm. um, so, I really, I would have to say that I really wasn't serious about that. Like, I tell the independent artists, so that's how I know. Um, it was just a test base for me on that mm -hmm. particular one. So, and that lasted for how long? Um, what? About, five, well, MJ, MG, uh, that lasted about, what, three years? Okay, and you were not serious. So this is what I'm trying to get at, because a lot of people have been doing stuff for a length of time, mm -hmm. and then they'll say that they're serious because they've been doing it a length of time, but they don't realize once you get going, it's other levels of seriousness to mm -hmm. it. And you start to invest more time, mm -hmm. more money, mm -hmm. and you get you hone in on your craft. Right. So that is what you did not do. So i just trying to stress the point of artists if you're really serious about what you mm -hmm. do. You got to um, keep going. You got to keep going. And you got to come back around, though. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. So I just I just love those those stories of, mm -hmm. of you fighting through. Yes. Um. Let's see. What what were the steps of you building Fox Track Radio? Like what what was first? Putting God first. Okay. Most definitely putting God first and faith. Mm -hmm. Because if you ask me if I had all my my T's crossed mm -hmm. and my eyes dotted mm -hmm. and all my ducks in a row, no, I did not have none of that. What I did had was more determination. But I put I put God first. I put the faith in there, mm -hmm. and I just jumped. Mm mm mm. Simple as that. So, when when um, who who would you say your direct competition is? Myself. Okay. Uh -huh. So no other radio show station, none of that. I'm my I'm my own competition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I said, I can't say that someone's my competition and then I say I'm riding for that chick. That's right. You know what I mean? I'm my own competition. Mm -hmm. So. I, I am the number one online radio TV station in the world. That's right. Okay? That's right. And that's just it and that's all. So I'm my own competition. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, what What is, um? how do you balance the work life and home life? Oh, that's easy. Really? Well, well, well for me. <laughs> really? Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a... My kids are not like young like that. Okay. You know what I mean? So, I mean, they're old enough to understand that I have to be at the office. Mm -hmm. um, I raise them to understand the difference between entrepreneurship and also working a job. Mm -hmm. And even, even my son, mm -hmm. you know, I'll also tell my son all the time, listen, he'll say, I want to play football. I want to play football. Mm -hmm. I tell him, listen, it's okay for you to play football. Mm -hmm. I don't have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. But what I need for you to understand is that you can also own the team. Mm -hmm. So that balance with them seeing me work hard mm -hmm. is one of those things that there are they they come together. Mm -hmm. I sit down and I talk to them. I tell them, "Hey, listen. I'm going to I'm not I'm actually going to be here doing this. I'm going to be here doing that." And I have an open door policy for my kids. Mm -hmm. You know, they come any any time. Who is still that work ethic in you to 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 be entrepreneur? Ooh. Oh, now you want the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no one's asked me that question. I'm coming. I got a lot of them. Um, um, well, I don't have a whole lot of entrepreneurs in my family around me that I can say, okay, I took this from her. I took this from them. I took this from this. 
I just had a dream when I was nine years old, you guys, being 100% real. Mm -hmm. And that dream showed me that I was a businesswoman. And every woman around me was working women and didn't match that dream. And I just followed the dream of the nine-year-old girl. That's mm -hmm. exactly what I did. Mm -hmm. Now, you were 30. You've been in uh, the radio business mm -hmm. for 30 years. Mm -hmm. Doing what? Like, where did you start? I told you I started as a rapper. I no, 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 no. The ra I'm talking about radio. Where did you start on radio? When did I start in radio? Yep. 2009. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, and you started out as a host. Well, see, what had happened was, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, listen, it, it literally, to be 100% honest with you guys, it was prophesied by my son's nanny. Mm -hmm. And she came up to me and she's like, um... You know, I saw you on, don't get mad, don't get mad, you know what I mean? I saw you on radio. I didn't mm -hmm. get mad, you know, because usually when somebody come and tell me that they heard from the Lord or whatever, I go and ask the Lord myself anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so I had asked I had asked uh, a young man that was in the radio business, I said, well, how do you get in this radio thing? This is after she told me. Mm -hmm. And he said I had to go to school for two years, broadcasting school. I mean, it just sounded like a long list of things I had to do. Mm -hmm. So um, another guy came up to me and said, Miss JJ, you want to go? Um, my friend is paying for some time slots. This was mm -hmm. at WIGO. Mm -hmm. He said, do you want to come in here and answer the phones and so on and so forth so you can kind of get a feel? Mm -hmm. This is true, you guys. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, and I ended up coming. I ended up, long story short, I was there. Mm -hmm. And the DJ did not show up. Okay. So the young man said, Miss JJ, just press this button, press this button. I'm trying to go get my other DJ to get up here. Just keep pressing this button. Mm -hmm. So after 20 minutes, I got tired of pressing the button. So I pressed the mic button and I went on there. Hey, yeah, this is your girl, Miss JJ. I'm in the building. Black <laughs> <laughs> Brown style, right? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I did. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and he came in there, he ran in there, and the phones was ringing. It was mm -hmm. like, who is that girl, you know? Mm -hmm. And then after that, that was that was the start. So I, I never it. did that two years of broadcasting. So I love much. it. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to WIGO. Uh, it's right around mm -hmm. the corner from where I live. And um, they're a good place to get a good start. Yeah. Good start. Yeah. You, you can get your hands on over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Ms. Maureen just came from. So WIGO. Right. Yeah. I just stayed there long before I moved on over. But I'm yeah. just saying, it was really, it was fun. It yeah. really was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Tell, tell me my, about this this reality show that's going on. Like, where do you stand with it? What is, what is your role in it? What's happening with it? What's the reality show about? I want to hear about it. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> I, I know he does. But I can't tell you the name of the reality okay. show. Okay. Um, I can tell you that, yeah, it's something that I created. Okay. You and, created it? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Absolutely. I can tell you that it's real powerful. I can tell you that you guys are all going to love it. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. It's coming off our own TV network. There we go. There we go. There That's we an go. exclusive. There we go. <laughs> are, are we still looking for anybody else? Yeah, we got six episodes. So we're always looking for more extras and, and some lead people mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Yeah, we're, this this thing is, is going to be so huge. I, I, I'm telling you guys, it's going to be amazing. How can I contact you for the, for the show? Miss JJ at FoxTrapRadio.com. Anybody, anybody, uh, uh, but ages? Let, yeah, well, let me tell you this. Not mm -hmm. just for the reality show, because we have our new network, and I, I'm not going to give you guys the name of that, too, because it's all a press thing that's coming out. Mm -hmm. we're, we're actually going to start looking for you know, like independent film writers and people who have a dream to have their own cooking show, news show. We're, this network will have to stop with the big dogs, so we're going to be actually filling it in with a lot of content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are your biggest influences? Um, my mama, mm -hmm. my mama is my backbone. Mm -hmm. My mama is that one. She's that chick to say, you can do it. You keep going. Don't you stop. Mm -hmm. Um, it's my mama. Mm -hmm. Cause I remember one time I told my mama, I said, I'm just done with this, this business stuff. I'm giving up. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And she said, so you quitting? I said, I quit. She said, get out of my house. Mm. She said, I didn't raise no quitters and don't come back. Whoa. Yes, she did. And that was the end of the conversation? That was the and I went out her door crying, too. She put you out? My mom put me out. <laughs> <laughs> that need to happen in a lot more scenarios, you know what I mean? Because um, that's for real. She put me out, didn't call me or nothing. Really? Yes. My mama did that to me, you guys. She did that to me. Let me ask you. Have you found it uh, difficult to get help from family with what you're doing? Or have you even looked for help 
from family to do what you're, what you're doing? Everybody's not going to like it when you want to take it to another level. Okay. Okay. I love my family. I really, really do. Um, most of my family live in California anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as help, I got two awesome partners. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I love my Will Hill and I love yeah. my Cool C. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But as far as family coming in and help, no. As far as people, mm -hmm. you don't want to go there. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> what drives you? Uh, that vision of me being that nine-year-old little girl. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. That vision of you being a nine-year-old little girl. It showed me that I was going to be a businesswoman. That, that, that's something to hold on to even if I did want to quit. I couldn't do it. What is your vision of, of Fox Trap Radio? Um, my vision for Fox Trap Radio is not only that this, this station continues to grow, mm -hmm. but I want the brands and the hosts to be bigger than light. I want their brands to be uh, bigger than light. I would love to roll over some of the host show mm -hmm. into our new network on a set. So not only would they be in the radio room, mm -hmm. I would like to create sets for them. And they can have their own talk show or their own show. So mm -hmm. the the goal for Fox Trap Radio is to keep growing and to keep continuing to help other people build their brands. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um. So will you get back into managing artists and stuff like that? Probably not. I get that question all the time. Mm -hmm. I would probably be a beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would. You would. No. You would. You don't want to do it. No, because I, I would have to dedicate 100% of the time to that artist. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, I guess, let's see. Um, you're from SAC. You have, when the last time you've been back to SAC? I'll be honest. I try not to go back often. I'm just saying. But um, when I do, I don't stay long. Okay. I okay. just don't. I just come in, visit family, and leave. Okay. Okay. Miss JJ, what? you are off the chain. I want I want the people to know your personality. When, they can, when can they catch your show? Uh, Miss JJ Fox show is on Saturdays from 12 to 2, but not for the next six weeks. Why? Because we're taping six episodes of the new reality show. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, artists, uh, models, actors, I mean, not models, you don't want models, do you? Uh, no, no. Want actors. I have a whole complete creative team. Okay. You know, Nakisha Walker and Bree Cox, they are so amazing. And I have, um, I call them Big Cam, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Unique. I mean, it's, and Kevin Talent. It's, it's a whole team mm -hmm. that is around this project. Perfect. So we're really excited about it. Perfect, perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to see this thing come together. It's going to come. Very excited. I know this. It's I'm happening. very excited for you. Um, let's see. What I want to know for a woman, what does it take to to really maintain everything that you have? Because um, to be able to have homes and, and 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 a location and all this kind of stuff, what mindset does it take to do that? Because I find so many women that just can't get it going as far as they, they have a lot of excuses. So, what would you say that it takes? Determination, persistence, confidence. But let me correct that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not all the time. So let me say that. Even when you don't feel confident, you still got to do it. Mm -hmm. So it would be me. I always put God first, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. It's prayer. Um, it's, like I said, it's belief in what he has instilled in me. I don't always get it right. Mm -hmm. And I have failed so many times. Mm -hmm. I mean, hundreds of times. I'm an OG of falling. But I'm also an OG of getting back up. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. as soon as I put it in my head and in my heart that it's not an option to stop and I don't look where the money is coming from or I don't look who's supporting it or who's not supporting mm -hmm. it I just keep moving that is something that I would suggest that anyone does put it in your heart and in your mind that it wasn't it's not an option to stop mm -hmm. and and it's not an and it's an option to start That's does right. that make sense it makes sense to me makes sense to me mm -hmm. are you looking for any interns I'm always looking for interns. Really? I love interns. Really? Yes. Do you work them like crazy? No. <laughs> My thing, you know, they always say, Miss JJ, you bring them in here, then you want to make them this and make them that. You're mm -hmm. giving them too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just want to see you succeed. That's so, right. yeah, absolutely. Right. But yeah. watch those people that you be having around you, though. That's right. You de you definitely do. Uh, you, you are an exceptional person. Exceptional person. And um, ever since I've met you for the last month and a half, you've been great. <laughs> 
<laughs> you you were upset with me last week, uh, whenever that was. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, communicate yeah, properly. Yeah, yeah, that's but right. that was fine. I had a lot going on. She understands, and uh-huh. and I make my adjustments. I'm to, I'm, <laughs> I want him to look good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and that's what I like. I like somebody that mm-hmm. is is on top of everything, like they need to be. Um, Miss JJ, please let them know once again. How can they contact you? How can they? Hear Fox Trap Radio and see Fox Trap Radio because it's TV as well. Yeah. You can see and hear Fox Trap Radio 1 on FoxTrapRadio.com or you can go and download the app for free. Um, Open Vision Networks, that's with an S.com. Download that app. You'll actually be able to see other TV shows. It's almost like Infinity. You see different channels and so on and so forth. And you can go to Channel 54 and that's where you can get us at. So we're there. Perfect. Ms. JJ, is there anything that you want to cover that I did not cover? Watch those people that you get around you that say that they want to be a part of what you're doing. Watch the ones who just want to hop on, like Steve Harvey said, and get on the wagon and just dangle their feet and so on and so forth. That's really, really important. And everyone who says they're for you, mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) and I have this prayer that I pray every day, all the time. Lord, if they're supposed to be here. Let us continue to be that part for them to help each other grow. But if they're not supposed to be here, Lord, just remove them. I have not personally ever had to remove anyone at Fox Trap Radio. They have removed themselves, and I was glad about it. That's right. That's, that she covered. She covered. You heard it. She covered. Don't try it. Because <laughs> it ain't going down like that. So thank you, Miss JJ. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, you. You've been a most gracious guest. And um, once again, check me out on the new show, The Hit Room. The Hit Room. I'm with uh, Dwayne Terry, a.k.a. Mm-hmm. One Purpose Mom, and Sonny Kelly. It's going to be off the chain. You need to get, uh, some of them, get some of them on your show. I'm going to get everybody on the show. Everybody get on The Hit Room. Everyone. Everybody. Come you on. Get a, you get an interview. You get an That's interview. Right. You get an That's interview. Right. You come, come on. Come on to The Hit Room. Fox Trap Radio. Mm-hmm. This has been Turning Music Into Money on LegacyA100.com. Mm-hmm. Double O. She is a boss. Fox Trap Radio. Thank you so much, Miss JJ. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely go check out Miss JJ right now after this interview is over. So it's over. Peace. Holla at you.